Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to talk about how to do um, psychic protection. So it's for those of you who do um, kind of readings, psychic readings, card readings, mediumship readings, anything like this. It's very important to protect your energy against other people's energy, not that anything bad can come in, but it's just to set that intention that you know that everything is you know above board. I'm going to show you um, a few things that I have that I use as part of my ritual. Um, I don't use them all, all of the time but I use them at different times depending on how I'm feeling at the time. So the, probably the easiest one and cheapest one that you can purchase or not even purchase. I only paid for the bottle and what's in here is just holy water that you can get free from your local church. They usually just have like a dipping kind of basin that you can just bring your bottle and kind of fill it up and this is um, it's probably the cheapest thing it's been blessed and stuff so I don't know if you can see that but yeah that would be one option the cheapest option also when you're doing any sort of work it's important to light a white candle as well try not to burn other types of color candles because white represents light purity protection and all of the above okay so so this is something else you can use as well, it's a Palo Santo stick and this is actually, it originates in South America. I can actually show you it burning as well. Wait. Unfortunately you won't be able to smell what I'm smelling but just trust that it's good, okay. So you just let it burn for a second and then you would just let it blow out. You can't really see it now, but it's kind of slowly going around. And it's a really sweet smelling wood. And usually these sticks are relatively cheap to get as well, so they won't break the bank. And if you want to like hold any of your kind of stuff, um, like whether it be the stick or sage, which we'll go to now, um, this is called an abalone shell. Um, you can see there, it's not as big as how it looks on the camera, but um, it's just, just somewhere to hold your um, your sage or your kind of stuff that you like to burn. Now moving on to the sage itself, this is California white sage and in my opinion it's the strongest and the best um, sage to use for psychic protection. And how this works is, um, this is um, a large bundle, you can't get it in smaller quantities. Usually I buy the white sage and I would put it into this bowl break it up and um, I would waft it with this kind of, I have a white feather here, it's a goose feather. So that's what I would use to um, kind of um, just make it disperse around the room. You can use anything you want really. So this one you just want to really <clears throat> burn, I won't burn too much, just a little bit there just to show you. Um, this is a tradition um, that goes back to Native Americans, um, so it's a Native American tradition, in other words, shamanic, um, and it's just used. It's an, it's just used to basically cleanse the energy um, and to remove any kind of souls or unwanted kind of um, presences from your space, um, and that's it's a really lovely smell as well. Some people don't like the smell of it. I personally do, because I like strong smelling stuff. And um, you would do this before and after any sort of spiritual kind of practice. So it's important to cleanse your energy both before and after. Otherwise, even though you've cleansed it before, when you've done some spiritual work, you still have residue of energy left over, okay? And another thing is, um, what they say is, or how to say, how kind of, um, I don't know what, if you want to call it a myth or a legend, whatever. But they say that the more smoke that comes from the actual sage, the more energy needs to be cleansed in the room. So that's just something to watch out for. And that has actually, um, I um, believe that to be true because sometimes I'll light it and just like now, like not a lot comes off it, but sometimes it will be like a lot of smoke. And so the more smoke there is, the more energy that is present and needs to be cleared. And also remember you have to open the windows as well when you're doing any sort of energy clearance. Otherwise the um, energy has nowhere to go and it will just stay in. Um, what else you can use uh, for protection? You can use rosary beads. I wouldn't say I use them that often, but I just like to have them around the house because I think they're nice. Um, and this is something else I got as well. It's from a local lady called Butterfly Dawn. She's based in, um, I think, Balbrigan or Rush in Dublin or Lusk. 
it's one of those places on the north side anyway. And uh, this has Saint Germain Aura Spray, with, um, it has an amethyst crystal as well. Amethyst crystals are great for um, protection as well. And also um, black tourmaline and obsidian, black obsidian. So those are ones that you'd want to use as well. So this smells like, it's a spray by the way. You can't kind of, obviously you can't smell it, but it's a really, it's just a really kind of invigorating smell. It has um, patchouli, frankincense, jasmine, lotus, pine and chamomile and ginger within that and it's a really lovely one. Um, you have to forgive me, I'm all choked up with a cold at the moment. Um, and another thing that you can do for psychic protection is obviously mental work. Um, so what you can do is um, set the intention rather to have yourself protected if you believe in angels like I do and fight the angels in. Um, and I can feel them around me now actually as I'm just saying that so you don't have to do like all you have to do is set the intention and literally they're all around you okay um if you don't believe in angels um which I don't know why you want but um you can just call on your guides and your protectors on the other side and just ask for um only good information to come true um ask to be protected um by a bubble of white light um you can call in different colors like this different rays of light that would be um strong as well so you have the white light which is um the most powerful you have the blue light which is archangel michael and you um can also call in um the purple which is the divine and also um gold is a really strong one as well so you can just surround yourself in a bubble of all of these colors of light kind of like imagine yourself in a sphere and just set the intention that um, nothing bad will come in, no lower negative energies. What I personally do is I just repeat to myself um, before I do any spiritual work, I, I say I call on Archangel Michael to come around me to protect me with his um, blue light and protect me with his shield and his um, big wings. And um, I asked also to be surrounded in a bubble of white light. No energy of a lower vibration can come into my space. I vibrate at a high level and um, I only bring through good information and the information that's perceived to be um, of a kind of more uh, kind of lower energy it's only to help with the healing of the person concerned so it's all about just raising your vibration and what I mean by that is just thinking positively and um, just being in a kind of a happy state and that's basically how you protect yourself it's all about intention and all of these other things that I'm doing the the sage, they're all just little extras that you can do to help protect yourself. They're not a necessity, but they just, some people just need a physical kind of thing to um, help them protect themselves. And um, mostly you will have guides and protectors around you that will be kind of like protecting you from the other side and stuff, but they also want you to take on some personal responsibility yourself and to exercise um, psychic protection on your own mirror and not just depend on other people or other entities, um, angels and so on to do that work for you. So you have to take that personal responsibility anyway. And also always always light the white light. All of these other things, you don't really have to buy them. I just, I'm kind of like a junkie when I go to these fairs and stuff, I need to pick stuff up. Um, and it's, you just, you'll get used to it. It's, it's like a routine, it's like anything, you just get used to doing it. Like sometimes, like I went through a phase where I would protect myself before but not after because I felt so nice, like the, the spirit or something was just like a really nice energy and I kind of felt like I didn't need to kind of protect myself, which um, is okay sometimes but it's better just not to um, hold on to that energy even still because you can have a residue of energy and if it's around the house and you know if you have children or pets or animals around the house they can kind of pick up on that energy and that's not really nice you want to make your home kind of a sacred space especially if you are working for home from home rather and um, you just don't want kind of any other unwanted energies in your space you want to keep your home a clear kind of vessel for spirit to come true so that there's no other in interfering kind of spirits when you want to bring true um, someone new from the spirit world so hopefully you've enjoyed that video, hopefully it was helpful, I am going to do a lot more videos like this. So uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'm going to try and do a video every single week just to help educate people on all things spiritual. Thanks very much, bye bye.